What's good, guys? We're back at it again with another video. As you see from the title, we got Davion Mitchell today, six foot guard. I know a lot of y'all probably didn't realize he is actually that small because of his size, but now nah, he's actually six feet. Georgia boy. If you guys didn't realize yet, Georgia basketball players are different. I think I don't know. I don't think we're first because California and Texas is so big, but I know we're top five in the country in NBA basketball players because we produce top talent. Not just regular NBA players, like all-star level talent, you know what I'm saying, consistently, right? And with Davion, this is probably one of the, he's in my class 2017, is probably one of the only players in my class, him, maybe Wendell, uh, yeah, him and Wendell probably in my class in Georgia that I never actually played in high school. Now, I did watch him, uh, that Colin Davion Mitchell matchup. I think there's a YouTube video on it, Hoop Diamonds or someone did it back then. Go, go ahead and look that up, bro. Like, that game was crazy. Like, these dudes, Colin, Davion, what they are, competitors. Just competitors, bro. And Davion, what, two-time defensive player of the year in the uh, Big 12. Two-time all-first two time uh, all first team defense. Like, so he's a, for me, you know how I love defense. He's from Georgia, and he plays defense. So, for me, it's a win-win just watching him play uh, in college, what he averaged 14, or uh, this last year he averaged 14 and five, shot 44 from three. Now those aren't crazy numbers, but coaches will tell you this all the time. Winning take care, t winning takes care of everything, right? So the farther you go in the tournament, with a lot of scouts is recency bias, and the last time that they'll see any player in college play live action is the tournament championship, right? You know they have the combine scrimmages, but in terms of live action. The last time they're going to see real like college players play is the tournament. So the farther you get to, the more film they get on you, the better they can evaluate you. And if you perform on those stages, because those are the biggest stages that there are in college basketball, it makes them think, OK, it'll translate over into the league. As we already know, he won co-MVP for Summer League with Cam Thomas. Uh, so I'm excited for this one. Let's go. Davion is great once he gets favorable matchups in the pick and roll. As you can see here, he gets to switch on to the big, and he has no problem lulling in to sleep with this hezzy and pulling up from three. Davion's also an excellent on-ball defender. I want you guys to notice how he cut off Peyton Pritchard's drive, forcing him the other way and speeding him up into a turnover. He's also a pretty consistent three-point shooter, shooting 47% over the course of Summer League, and he can make them in a bunch of different ways, just like this. While in transition, Davion does a great job controlling the pace, speeding up when he wants to, and he has great body control floating in the air for the finish. As I showed before, Davion's absolutely relentless on the defensive end, forcing every offensive player he's guarding into tough shots. Because of his first step and foot speed, Davion has no problem creating space for mid-range jumpers, which he knocks down consistently. As I stated before, Davion can make threes in a bunch of different ways, and if you decide to go under a ball screen, it's up. I want all my young guards to watch how he hounds the offensive player, not letting him get by him and making him go where he wants to go, eventually forcing him into a turnover. One of Davion's favorite moves within isolation situations is a step back because it allows him to create separation between himself and the defender. And as you can see on this next possession, even when the defender doesn't bite, it doesn't take him a lot of space to get it off. I had to include this clip inside today's breakdown. A lot of you guys might consider this possession luck or Davion just had really good touch, but I say Georgia boys are just different. As you guys just saw, that step back is his favorite move and he has no problem using it at any point to create space. Davion's the true definition of a two-way player. Even when his shot's falling, he's still going to give you 100% on the other end. When it comes to Davion's step back, it doesn't matter who's guarding him. He can create the space and get the shot up. Okay, so Davion, but first... I just checked, bro. Excuse my hair, man. We, I'm still trying to find a barber down here in Sarasota. It's really treacherous, man. So, again, if you guys know anybody, comment down. But, Davion, let's look at his stats from Summer League. He averaged 10.8 points on 10 shots, 42% from the field, 47% from three on three threes a game, um, uh, about six assists, about two rebounds, uh, steal, and then about one tournament, right? So, for him, his calling card – at the next level was going to really separate him from almost everyone else in the league because as we all know uh, like almost everyone in the league can score everyone everyone in the league can go get a bucket but but not everybody plays defense not everybody plays defense so his calling card is going to be defense 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 so that's what we're going to talk about first if you guys didn't know 
against uh, Boston, he played Peyton Pritchard, right? A couple days before that, this is the championship game, he played Peyton Pritchard, right? A couple days before that, Peyton Pritchard dropped 92 in a, um, in a Pro-Am game, right? So Peyton Pritchard goes from dropping 92, and then he goes to play Davion, which is, and after that, his confidence should be at an all-time high. I think I saw him pulling up from half like it was easy. So we should be coming into this game cooking confidence on an all-time high. None of y'all can really mess with me, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure Davion held him under 10 points, right? Like under under 10 points. So this dude is a lockdown defender, like nonstop. And I love to watch and I love players like that because I was like that defensively, like just nonstop. He's not, he's getting over every ball screen for all my young guards. Like he, watch how he, like if you get a chance, like really watch his games, watch how he, he never dies on a ball screen. For a lot of guards, when a big comes and screens, they either going to hit it and they're going to like fake act like they're trying to get over it or they just going to lay on it and be lazy and not try and get over it. We just watch him play. This dude doesn't lay on any ball screens. He's getting over everything. He's reaching like he's doing everything he can to get a stop. And it works and it translates. Like you saw, defense is another thing. And in part with shooting, defense is also translatable to the next level. So as you can see, he's what? Two-time uh, all-first team defense, Big 12. Defensive player of the year, Big 12. Then he goes in the league and he can lock down already because defense is really translatable. Now, offensively, he can score. He can score, right? But it's obvious, like, that's not his, that's not what he's, like I said, that's not going to be like his Colin car, right? So he can, what he averaged, about 11, but he took, he averaged like 11 on 10 shots. So it wasn't as efficient, but from three, he shot 47% on three threes a game. So that's pretty that's a pretty, uh, pretty good indicator of that he is a pretty consistent shooter. And as I showed you in the film, he has no problem coming down. He can shoot it coming down in transition. He can shoot it if you go under a ball screen. He has no problem doing that. And that step back. That step back, man, is like he's getting that off against every anybody, everybody, because he's so quick. He's so quick in his first step. It's so, like, twitchy. He's, like, he's gone so fast. So the second he gets you on his hip and he's a little bit by you, your momentum is going full speed because you're trying to catch up to him, right? You're trying to catch up to him. So he goes by you. So you sprint and trying to get back, but he has body control. He has good footwork. He has everything. This dude, while you running this way, he can just stop. And then he's stepping back, pull up, is gone. And he's making it against guards. He's making it against bigs. It really doesn't matter who's in front of him. Like he's getting the bucket, right? So like I was saying, so really for him, it's going to be, he's going to be mostly a defender. He can score. I'm excited to see like what that development is going to look like because he has like the ability to score right now is just looking like, right now is just looking like, well, in summer league, his shot wasn't falling that much. It was falling from three, but in terms of from the field, um, mid range, things like that, some of his lays weren't falling. So I think it's probably just going to be working on some touch, things like that, but that's going to come, especially with an NBA level uh, training program, things like that. So I'm excited to see where he goes with that. I got a question yesterday on my, um, on one of my videos. It was saying, what is the least, what's the least favorite player, um, that you like to guard, right? And why him, him, this is one of, this is, this is an example of one of like what I said when I commented down after that, I said players that are relentless, not only offensively, but defensively, just all over every time, Everywhere on the court, they're just relentless, right? Davion is that type of player that that's my personal least type of favorite type of player to guard. I'm getting a little mm, tongue tied or whatever, but it's because this dude is he's gonna give you 100% offensively, defensively on the bench. It doesn't matter. Like he's he's locked in at all times. And for me personally, when I really say that, it's I've only played maybe I want to say like four or five players that. I would say like I didn't look forward to guarding and because and what it why it was because they were like him. Shot goes up because I'm guarding bigs, of course. Shot goes up every time I gotta look behind me. Every time. Like for a lot of a lot of bigs, they'll kind of half go to the glass or or they're not coming full speed, and you can kind of just kind of glance and kind of just hit them a little bit, and I can jump a little bit, so I can usually jump over them. I played about four or five bigs in my career that you have to literally physically turn all the way around, locate them first, and go hit them. Davion's that type of player. Like he's gonna come at you 100 miles an hour. And if you offensively, if you got if you got any type of 
You know what I'm saying? If you if you ain't strong with the ball, it's gone. He's taking it from you. You're a real dog. Like, real, real dog. Georgia boys, different. Like, share, subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Appreciate you guys watching all my videos. Man, like, it's been a... It's been crazy just getting into this point, like I said, in just four months. Like, it's insane. So I'm really excited to see where we're going to go to the future. Like I said, like, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications. We're going to be back at it for with the subscriber breakdown on Sunday.